What's going on YouTube? We are back with another, I don't even know. <laughs> Today, I'm getting a little bit more time on the Ram. Unfortunately, I was not picked to compete out at X Games last week. Pretty bummed on that, but I still wanna continue my progression and make sure that I 100% get a spot next year. And I do have the Big Hill Jam coming up, which obviously I wanna go there and compete for a win. So work on some of my weak points. Yeah, that's the plan for today. But yeah, I'm gonna throw on my GoPro Hero 11 Mini and take you guys on board for this ramp session. <laughs> straight into it. I rode a little bit yesterday, so the run-up's a little choppy, but um, just kind of going to get straight into it. I don't really want to waste time trying to warm up. I want to just be able to cold turkey go out and like get started. I'm going to try a few turn-ups today too. I don't really like doing turn-ups off the ramp because it's such a short, steep lip. I like the, the longer, taller lips kind of like that. But I know it's possible, so I'm gonna work on it just a little bit. I also slowed the rebound down on my shock even more than it already was. It's basically tightened all the way up, so I don't wanna have a have my shock react and I kinda just wanna have it settle, pack all the way up and then release at the top of the lip. I can tell too, I'm getting pretty sensitive to when I'm slightly too fast because I can feel like when I that I just hit the ramp too fast, don't even try, you know? Still a big learning curve, especially on this bike. I did bump up the horsepower like two clicks too because I want to be able to go slower into it, crank it more because the more throttle you give it off the lip, the lighter the bike's going to feel, the more you can pull. And that goes with every style of whip, but especially for seat bounce whips <laughs> trying a little different head movement too before i was like leaning but i was looking sideways a little bit and i honestly didn't really like the way that looked or felt so i'm going to kind of just try to stay neutral with the bike and then when i want to whip the whip the rear end out at the top of it i'm going to turn my head a little bit and see what that does It's all just experimenting and a lot of it's in the head. Head and then the shoulder, the inside shoulder, whichever weight you're whipping. Yeah, it came off the lip a little weird that time. Didn't really like that one. Oh my God. That one felt gnarly. But I know it wasn't big. It wasn't big enough. But it definitely felt like I was end doing for sure. I need to go put grip tape on the side of this thing again. All right, we're back. Got some fresh grip tape on the side. It's almost hard to go like regular pace on this because of the electric flick it's like it just wants to spin around we got a frog on the ramp look at this come on little guy oh no See, the ramp is literally pushed so far to the left. I'm just running it for right now. I definitely got to fix it. Oh, such a hard landing. The next day we're back out here i couldn't ride the ramp today i was 
because I wanted to work on my opposite side of whips. But I really got to go and adjust that thing because I've hit it so many times and it's kind of hard to, to bolt that ramp down so to keep it from moving. So it's moved a little bit on me. I'm going to work on some turn ups on this double. They're pretty difficult. Or I shouldn't say pretty difficult. They're more difficult on the Stark because of the torque. Versus on a 450, you can kind of just kind of go up the lip, turn the head, hold it wide open, and the front end wants to come up a little bit. But on these, the front end wants to come up so much. I'm going to work on kind of taming that and figuring that out. Yeah, usually on turnups on the 450, I approach it. I land off the first jump. And even when there's not a setup jump, I kind of compress the suspension, pull the front end up before I hit the base of like the jump, pull the front end up, lighten it up a little bit, set it down and kind of get into my like little motion. So right at the top of the jump, I'm already kind of committed to it, but it's a little, it's just a little different on this cause I'm going to have to regulate the throttle control a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna try a few different settings on this bike as well because I'm gonna want the front end to naturally want to fall after I get to the peak of the whip. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna hook my foot in under the shifter for a few and then I'm gonna do it regularly for a few. What I mean regularly, I just don't hook under because on the 450, obviously I don't want to shift while I'm doing a turn off like this. Just, kind of dangerous you don't want to risk hit neutral but on this i don't have the risk of hit neutral i'm just gonna play around that's why this bike is so good because you can just do different things that you really would normally do on a 450. Okay, with even even with all that wheel spin to get the front end up, I couldn't get it down. Let's try that. Uh, I had a, had an idea that I got from MX Unleashed. I think the most famous trick on there is like the taunt. We kind of like look back and point so i kind of wanted to just do it um just because i think it'd make a funny post but it also kind of looks pretty sweet so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> That's sick. It's pretty sick. My angle's cool. I just gotta go bigger. That was a little sketchy. Jeez. Yank too hard. Maybe these are a little bit more difficult because I don't, um, like I'm not super good at whipping that way. It's kind of like writing with your opposite hand. Okay, so that wraps this video up. Fortunately, I forgot to charge my GoPro again, so that's on me. Drop a comment down below what you guys think on the ramps versus the dirt content. I'm a little bit more focused on the ramp riding as of right now, just because I want to get that dialed in, but I do still find dirt a lot more enjoyable, and I think everybody would kind of agree. So I'm just kind of interested to hear what you guys think. Again, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Say it every video, but it does help.
But until next time, I will catch you guys later.